give yourself a hand for what you've done. That's a cheerful gift. You just say, how many ready for the word? Yeah. How many ready for the word? Yeah. Right, take the word to save you, take the word to keep you. Amen. In a time like this, God will preach you on, praise God. Yes, yes. That's the out to the harper, praise God. Yeah. Yeah. When, when he braced the podium, I you stand and represent. Represent the God that's in the man of God. Amen. Represent the God that's in the man of God. Lord. So thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. So Pastor Harper. Thank God. Pastor Harper. Let go. Let go. And let go. Let go. After the quiet sun. Next one's be done. Then I pass the out to the Harper. Yes. Amen. <laughs> oh, Zion, what's the matter now?
I'm shouting. We used to get along with it, but you don't get along now. World Zion, what's the matter now? My God Almighty, you gotta get back and do the thing that you used to do. Long time ago, they used to live holy. used to do. I heard somebody say that God was doing, that they're doing a new thing. But God did the same thing then that he's doing now. Ain't nothing changed. But people change. My God. Amen. Amen. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Amen. Amen. We thank God. We give our amen. Amen to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. We give honor, amen, to the host pastor. Amen. Pastor Mabel Cabo. Amen. Amen to Pastor Morrison. Amen. Amen. We give honor, amen, to Bishop Quick. Amen. Amen to Bishop Bishop Michael Christian in his absence. Amen. But not last but not least to my wife. Amen. Amen. And to every woman that make up this great body. What's the matter now? What's the matter? I'm gonna have to slow down. I feel my wheels turning. Amen. We thank God. Thank God. Thank God. That's the Kelly, amen. Thank God for her. Amen. We thank God for her. Amen. God is good, ain't he? He's good all the time. And all the time, God is good. But God ain't changed, y'all. God ain't changed. But we change. Yeah. That's not my message, but I just want to put that in there. Amen. Amen. I thank God. I thank God. I thank God. Amen. We thank God for the messages that we heard this week. Amen. 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 Tell the devil you're messing with the wrong one. And it stops now. Amen. And then Elder Ross, amen, she came back, amen, and told us, amen, do you know him? Do you know him or do you know of him? Amen. Amen. A lot of folks say they know him, but they don't. Amen. While she was going through, I said, Lord, she must have been on my desk. But she was all in there. I said, oh, my God. But God is still doing his thing. Yes. Amen. If you have your Bibles, we're not planning to be before you long. Amen. But if you have your Bibles, amen, turn with me to Ezekiel, the 33rd chapter. Ezekiel, chapter 33. All right now. Amen. Ezekiel, chapter 33. Amen. And we're going to read down. Amen to the eighth verse. Amen. We're going to ask, we ask, amen, uh, Elder, that if he will read for me on this morning. Amen. But now I may stop you somewhere down the road there. Listen at what this says. Let's begin at verse one. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Again, the word of the Lord came unto me again, again. and said, What? Son of man. Son of man. Yes. Speak to the children of thy people. Speak to the children of thy people. I need you to speak to them because there's something that I need for them to know. Amen. Amen. A lot of times we're speaking to them, but we're not giving them 
what the words say. Come on, breathe. And say unto them. And say unto them. When I bring the sword. When I bring the sword. Uh -huh, upon a land. Uh -huh, if the people of the land. Uh -huh, take a man of their coats. Uh -huh, and set him for their watchman. Uh -huh, read. And when he sees the sword come upon the land. Uh -huh, he blow the trumpet. He blow the trumpet. Uh -huh. Warn the people. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet uh -huh. and talketh not warning, uh -huh. if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. The watchman. We all understand and we know who the watchman is. The watchman, we have the people's mind. We got their Right, we over them, so we got to lead them in the right direction. Yeah. Amen, amen. We got to call it right, right, wrong, wrong. Yeah. Amen. But it said there, it said that now, if if when he seeth the sword uh -huh. coming upon the land, he bloweth the trumpet. A lot of times we see stuff, but we won't tell it. Amen. A lot of times that's that we see the people in sin, we won't call it. We see them in, in shacking up, they won't say nothing about it. A lot of times right now in the word, in the way today's society, people are allowing things to go on in the house of God. That's not supposed to go on. You have some that got boyfriends and they're staying together. You have some that's sleeping together. And we know that it's going on in the house. But we won't call it out. But we're afraid because if we call it out, we might lose the membership. Or we might lose the person. But my God Almighty, the Bible said, when the watchman, uh, he see what's going on, uh, his business is uh, to call it out, uh, to warn you uh, before we get there. Uh, I'm sorry, my brother, uh, but I got to go. Uh, my topic is uh, warning uh, come before destruction. Uh, God is, uh, he's warning his people uh, about the things uh, that's going on uh, in the body of Christ. Uh, and not only in the body of Christ, uh, but by the way you live it. Uh, if you say you got it, uh, then let us see uh, that you got it. Uh, my God of mine, uh, but by God, uh, my God, uh, he's watching you. Uh, he see every move uh, that you make. Uh, he see everything. Uh, that to speak every tongue that rise up against your loved ones. Every tongue that you say, I love you. But then, hell no, when I get behind you, I'm talking about you like a dog. My God Almighty, my watchman. I'm the watchman over my people. Deliver his soul. I don't know about you, huh? 
<laughs> but I was glad <laughs> when they said unto me, <laughs> let us <laughs> go into the house of the Lord. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> had to teach me <laughs> how to live right. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> had to teach me <laughs> how to live holy, <laughs> how to live sanctified. <laughs> but my God, <laughs> we got people <laughs> that don't know to be taught. <laughs> They get a little bit and they take off running. But then when they take off, they make a shipwreck. And then they come back, they come back running. Oh Lord, I made a mess. You ain't got to tell me, but we gave you warning. My God, let me tell you, a rattlesnake will warn you before he bites you. A dog will warn you before he bites you. A cat will warn you before he scratch you. But my God, God is warning you. God is warning you before destruction may come in your life. Some of us are headed for destruction. And God And we wonder, how did I get here? Well, you got there. You didn't take heed to the warning. To the wicked. When I say to the wicked. Oh wicked man. Oh wicked man. Thou shalt surely die. You shall surely die. Surely die. If thou does not speak to warn the wicked from uh, his way. From his way. That wicked man shall die in his iniquity. Good God my. But his blood will I require at thine hand. No. Yes. Ah. Y'all hear that? That's the word. Let that word talk. Let that word, that's the word. If I don't warn you of your wicked ways, the blood is going to be upon my hand. And I can't have blood on my hand. I got my own blood. I don't need yours. Hello, somebody. I got to go before God for me. I don't need to go there before you. Come on, somebody. So I need to warn you right now that God is on the way. He's on his way back. God is coming sooner than you think. My God Almighty, will you be ready? Will you be ready when he comes? My God. But listen, I got somewhere else that I want to go in the same chapter. If you would, read chapter 30, verse 31. Read verse 31. Now this is still Ezekiel talking, y'all. Yeah. In the same chapter. Right. Read, 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 read. 31. They, came, they, they come uh, unto thee as the people cometh. Uh-huh, listen. And they set before thee as my people. Uh-huh, listen. And they hear thy word. They hear thy word, uh-huh. But they will not do that. They won't do it. They won't do it. I'm telling you. <laughs> we, we, they, Read. For with their mouth, with their mouth, they show much love. They show much love. But See, their heart, their heart, goes after their covenant. They going after everything else except me. They going after everything else except me. In other words, you confessing me with your mouth, but your heart is far from me. Oh God.
business is finished, but I have not lost none. I got my God. I don't want to lose none of my people, but I want them to hear the word, the word of the Lord. Oh, why I go before God? He said, come on, thou good and faithful servant. You faithful over two things. My God. Oh. Full destruction. I don't know about you. My mother used to warn me about many things. And she told me, she said, look at him, boy. She said, if you don't change, something down the road won't they ain't waiting, waiting for you. I didn't believe. I kept right on. Doing what doing what she told me not to do. Huh? Y'all know, y'all, yeah. Y'all know it. Don't break your hand, but y'all know who you are. Yeah, man. Huh? God telling us don't do such and such a thing, but we're going to do it anyhow. Yeah. Oh, God, hey. Well, I got plenty of time. No, you don't. You think you do. Right. But you got to get it right now. God giving us a chance yeah. to get it right now. Right. You see what he said here. Lord have mercy. When I saw this, I woke up. God woke me up at 2 o'clock in the morning. I think I told somebody about it. At 2 o'clock, Pastor, and then I went and got it in the Word. But I was trying to do some cross-reference. But when I did the cross-reference, he took me to Ezekiel. And when I began to read what he said, that thing got real good to me. And after it got good to me, it seemed like the words was jumping off the page. Like the words was speaking to me. The words spoke to me before I gave it to you. Because God was telling me, this is what I want you to know. I want you to know. Because you're the watchman. You're the watchman over their soul. You're the watchman. You're the one. Got to lead them in the right direction. My God. Uh, you got to tell them uh, the word of God. Uh, you got to lead them. Yeah. Yeah. Ezekiel right. was telling the people and warning them, yeah. this is judgment. Yeah. Now, let, me, let me put that in there. This is judgment. Yeah. God is bringing judgment before he comes. Yeah. He's warning them. He's letting them know that this is coming. This is what's happening. And we got folks nowadays, they in, they go to church, not not, not, not at the church, but they got it all over the body of Christ. They got everything going on in the church. Everything. Everything going on in the church. But if we're holy, we don't allow things. As I hear some people say sometimes, if you if you if you fall for something, if you stand for something, then you won't fall for nothing. We got too many folks falling. That drop the standard. Holiness is a standard. It's a lifestyle. A holiness is a lifestyle. That's the way we live. That's the way we live. That's the way we live. We should live holy. Because without holiness, without, no man shall see the Lord. Come on, somebody. Warning comes before destruction. I remember one time, my mama warned me. She said, boy, she said, don't you mess around with that woman. <laughs> the mother knows. She, she told me. She said, Don't you mess around with that woman. Right. She said, Boy, if you start messing around with that woman. <laughs> she said, You will be in a whole lot of trouble. God knows you won't run. Mama, why well, was in so much trouble, boy? I'm trying to tell you. Um, so. <laughs> See, I'm going to tell you something. See, young folks, y'all don't believe this, but whenever your mom and your dad tell you something, oh my. you better bank on it. You better bank on it. 
Because she told me, she said, I might not be here to see it. She said, but I'm going to tell you it's going to come to pass. But let me tell you something, in 1978, when God called my mom home, let me tell you something, it won't long after the months, whatever she told me, I came true. And I started seeing things, and then I was like Peter. I thought about what Jesus said, what Mama said. Huh. God told Peter that he was going to deny him three times, right? Huh. And I thought about what my mama said. I thought about what she said. Yeah. Yeah. See, she warned me before my destruction came. And my destruction came, y'all. It may not come when you think. Uh -huh. It'll come when you least it think it is. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. See, because the enemy got a plan and he got it set up. But if you don't follow the will of God, uh, you're going to fall into his plan. And then when you fall into it, then you hear you go again. Oh, Pastor, I, 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 you speak, I, you speak, I, you speaking in, what kind of tongue is that? Huh? I, I. <laughs> if we had to listen to the warning, then we wouldn't be in the shape that we in. A lot of us is in shape because we're not listening. We hear it, but I believe the word said, don't be just a hearer, but be a doer. Amen. 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 But we thank God Amen. for this word. Amen. 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 